Here's an overview of the sipping and switching uh, branch line, starting with Mark's Waterfront uh, Cross River Ferry Terminal. And we'll come around the curve down to Glenn Fricks's industrial modules. There are one, two, three, four, five connection points using the sipping and switching mini or 21 interface. Um, there are places that you could tie on industrial parks or just switching modules. And go up to Ken Anderson's module through Mark Gugliotta's mainline module with a 90 degree branch curve on the 21. which ties into Ken Anderson's Clyde module. And then we go to Ken Anderson's grade module. This is dual gauge under development. It's about a 4% grade to come up to the crossover. And the crossover, we go downgrade back to 48 inches through the tunnel, that little rise down there. All these, all these modules are Ken Anderson's. Most of them are dual gauge or I have dual gauge on them. I'll go over here and get the front side of these modules. The dates on the side is when these modules were constructed. Okay, so we're back up to where the crossover happened. Now we have an overview of this loop of Ken Anderson's modules. This module is called BTU because of the fuel. Theme. And now we've gone around and under the flyover, for want of a better term. And then we'll head up further up the branch. Okay, we're on the other side of the crossover now. Ken Anderson's modules. This is Brandon Fitzpatrick's first module. It, it depicts a storage yard where jet fuel was loaded here in North Carolina. That'll be an addition. It's a nice land. You can play with it now. Yeah. 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 Here we have the ramp module that gets us from sipping and switching 48 
inch high to free mow, speed mow, 50 inch high. This is Smith siding, used as a yard lead for Tim Bowser's brown yard. And the other half of Smith siding, which finishes up acting as a yard lead for Brown Yard. Tim Bowser's Locust Road, based on a Pennsylvania prototype. And then Tim Bowser's Fremo Big Curve. Big curve, the turnout is designed to accept a staging track that would be central to this location. The staging yard has not been built yet. Next we have Orphan, another Fremo module built in 2014 for the National Train Show. A Speedmo to Fremo adapter. Mike Sherbach's old number one, the original Speedmo module. And we have Tim Moran's Speedmo freight house module. Uh, haven't put the cars on the layout yet. And that's our branch. Thanks for looking.